Alright everybody, so today we're going to look at five Dark Brotherhood like mods. So anyways, so to start out with, we're going to go to the Dark Assassin um, Viper skin. So this adds two sets of, you know, armor, you know, that are kind of like the um, shrouded armor. Uh, there's the Viper skin and there's the Dark Assassin gear. And there's also a few weapons that are bows. Anyway, to get these, all you need to do is go into the good old misc section and go and craft these babies up. And you'll get this arrow. And it'll be pretty cool. Oh, I may mean, also get this arrow. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, I believe the other ones are under... Uh, either Dragon or Daedric. I was just here a second ago. I'm sorry, guys. That's on Ebony. Okay. Um, one will uh, paralyze the target. And the other will poison the target. So, pretty cool. If you're a fan of the Dark Brotherhood, these are some really cool mods for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, and get some cool little mods and help me continue making five mod videos and other mod videos. But as you guys can see, it's another little simple, you know, assassin wear, I guess you could say. This one looks really stealthy, and it'll definitely blend in at night to the shadows. Also, different helms and stuff like that. There's, that's the hood and the helm. You also can take it off and just have, you know, the good old um, cowl on. Or however you want to play. Looks pretty good, as you guys can see. And there is also the Viper skin armor. Which looks pretty cool, too. I definitely like this one a lot better because it's just, you know, kind of unique in its color and... Looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a snake armor. I don't know. I think I like a Argonian might freak out. It's like, did you kill an Argonian and like skin them or something and make armor out of them? <laughs> That's what it looks like. But it is pretty cool though. It gives decent armor rating. Oh, actually, a lot more than decent. It's pretty good armor rating. Then we got the Viper Bow. Oh, let's get some of those arrows too. Shadow arrows. Nice. Where's the other power right there? See, it looks pretty cool too. It's got like a green look. So it's always pretty cool. I'm gonna paralyze the enemy and also poison the enemy for the other one. So, pretty cool, as you guys can see. And that's pretty much it for the first mod. We're gonna go on to the second mod now and have a good time. Alright, so basically for the second mod, this is just a replacer for the Dark Brotherhood armor with a darker version. Anyway, can be tampered and stuff like that. And there's some more information about that too. There's other locations you can find it. Or you can just wear the regular one. Anyway, it'll replace it to make it look like this. Pretty badass looking, but pretty simple to explain. Instead of all red, it's got the big hand on it and it's uh, a darker color now. But it does make it look better because a lot of people just didn't like it, I guess. Because I've seen like a lot of places for it. Well, you can probably say that for like any armor in the game. So, so, yeah, that's pretty much simplified. Like to the point of you know people will replace anything in the game. But it does look pretty good. But that's pretty much it for this mod, though. Let's go on to the third mod. Alright everybody, so for the third mod we got the better shrouded armor, so this is a standalone version. And also the versions of it that are not standalone, so also a replacer version. This is what it's going to look like. Pretty nice. You should go to the forge and craft this baby up under leather. You need a few interesting ingredients, you just need the actual shrouded armor and use the black soul gems. Look for the cow, you just need shout a cow. Shout a I almost said shouted cow, I do not know what I'm saying. Anyway. You need leather. So, there's a few, like, buffs you get, like, bows, do more damage, more sneak damage, um, muffled, and you get some poison resistance, so it's always nice. But as you guys see, it is pretty cool. It's got the little handprint on it, so it's always cool looking. You know, it's like, it looks like the little seams, like, the knitting seams, or whatever you want to call them. I think it's, like, seamed or something like that. I don't know. 
I'm not very smart when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> it does look pretty cool, though. Um, you know. It's, like, unique and stuff like that. And I definitely think it's worth a download. And it gives you pretty good armor rating. It is light armor, so that is something good to mention. So, it definitely looks... Like, you, you something you can stealth around in. Because it's not, like... You know, it doesn't stand out. But I don't... The problem with the regular shrouded armor to me is that it stands out too much. Like red, like dark red, well lighter red, like that, and the whole thing's red. It just stands out too much. I think gray or black is the best for it because you know it just does not stand out as much. But yeah, let's go on to the fourth mod and have some fun. We'll see what the next one is. By the way, I always can download these in the description, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright everybody, so today the fourth mod is going to be the Brotherhood Male standalone version. So basically what this mod does gives you a nice little armor set that's just basically your armor heavy male or whatever you want to call it for you know, better than strata armor. So if you want to build a little bit stronger version of what you already have, instead of just the regular old uh shrouded armor, this is a good mod to download. Because it gives you an unenchanted, unenchanted version and an enchanted version to craft up. So you can choose whatever you want to. Poison resistance is pretty good to craft up. But as you guys can see, um, you got some nice little armor here. Uh, by the way, the hood and stuff on here is from a different mod, which we'll be looking at in a second. So if you want to stay tuned for that, you can. But the nice little handprints on it, so it does look pretty good. And I think it looks, you know, over pretty overall pretty good on my character. I like being armored and stealthy at the same time. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. And let's go on to the next mod. All right, everyone, for our final mod, we get the Sithis armor. I love this mod. So anyway, add a ton of craftable armor to your game and a few weapons. But uh, to basically explain this mod is you're going to need a bunch of perks, a bunch of, you know, uh, abilities, skills, so it will list the amount of skills you need. Um, I just gave myself everything so I can actually craft this stuff. But if you go under leather, you can craft all this stuff, pretty much, pretty much a lot of ingredients, well, whatever you prefer. Not actually that much, but it's pretty good for what you are going to get. So that's always nice. Also, the steel version, which is... Basically armor and stuff like that. And there's like the dagger and stuff like that too. So that is pretty cool. To throw that on your body. I don't want to say it like that. Anyway, let's put this on. Uh, let's go to the heavy. And I do like mods that like make a difference between the light and heavy versions. I always think that's pretty cool. But we're going to look at the heavy set first. As you guys can see, this is, looks badass. Works for both male and females, by the way. Look at that. That is badass looking. I love it. Oh, I like the handprint on the armor. Overall, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, both of them have handprints on it. That is cool. Like, it's heavy armor, but not too heavy. Which makes sense for, like, a stealthier hero old or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but there's also the light versions as you can see here, which are more red. But still look pretty cool. And these are kind of like darker right here. I wasn't going to notice them for a second. I like the look of that. Oh, there's also a few other things you can change around. Like, oh, I forgot to actually put that on. That looks a little better, because that's no longer silver looks pretty cool though what else we got the skull one uh, got a heavy mask it's just a mask and you get the one that's just a light mask you know, like a skull and you get the maskless hood which I do like the maskless hood oh I hate saying that together it's kind of weird for me to say anyway you can just craft with this weapon. A little dagger. 
I like it. And you know, helps with your stealthing capabilities. Looks like you're gonna carve someone up with this weapon. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. Anyway guys, I hope you guys did the video. Please like, subscribe, it did, of course. I definitely enjoyed making this video, and I hope you guys did enjoy watching it. Um, I hope you guys always enjoy these five mod videos. I'll keep them coming because I like looking around with mods. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.